Hi, I'm Rob Bogue, and I want to take just a moment or two of your time to explain the SharePoint Shepherd's Guide and why we know from our customers that it's a better way for you to teach, train, and support your users. Well, first of all, it's easier. You don't have to get everybody together. The videos are two minutes or so on each one, and it's a way that you can teach people without having all the work. It's more cost effective than anything that you can do internally, either whether you're doing instructor led or if you're doing e learning. It's a quicker, easier way to learn. We know that you want to help the business. You want the business to be successful so you'll continue to have a job and so that everyone else will too. But we also know that you may feel trapped. You don't feel like you've got enough budget to do training right, and, or you don't feel like the time, you've got the time to create it. It's the same problem that we've seen over and over and over again. You need users to be able to understand SharePoint, to be productive with it. But how do you train them? Well, the thing is, is some folks say to us, well, it should be just intuitive. SharePoint should be intuitive and they shouldn't need to learn. Well, one of the products that most folks think is the most intuitive is the iPhone. If you think about that for a moment, how do you terminate an application? Is there anybody who would say that it's intuitive to double click the home and then swipe up to kill an application? No, there are going to be things in every application which just aren't intuitive to everyone. That's why we need to do something to help them understand. It used to be that if you wanted to train your users about some software application, you had to build your own training. You, you wrote it down, you put it in Word, you printed it out, you bound it up, and then you deliver that training in front of them, instructor-led, and you'd get everyone in a room and you'd teach them how things work. That's the way we used to do things. Well, we've learned that you can capture this, you can put it into a webinar so you don't have to be physically present in the same place, or you can put it into some sort of an e-learning solution that will teach them the same way that you would teach them face-to-face. -face. The problem with that is, is it's still like teaching them face-to-face, -face. and in all truthfulness, the research supports that that's not the best way to learn. The Shepherd's Guide is a completely new idea. It understands that you're going to lose 80% of what you learn two weeks after exiting a course. Instead of waiting for people to be pushed at all this material, we wait for them to ask for something so that we can teach them. Take a look at this. It's a quick demo of the actual product actually being used. So welcome to the homepage for the SharePoint Shepherd's Guide. This is a listing of all the content that exists in the guide. You'll see the first section is introduction and decision trees. And if we scroll down, we'll see things like collaborating on projects, communicating ideas. Those are all individual tasks that a user might want to do. There's 121 of them in the guide. We end with a set of appendices, which includes things like the site definitions, list definitions, and web parts that you may want to use. These appendices show you each of the different examples so that you can pick which thing is right. Let's go back and look at the introduction and decision trees. And more specifically, let's look at a common problem, which is deciding whether to organize with folders or with metadata. I open the task up, and I've got some descriptive text. But what's important is at the end, you end up with a decision tree, a flowchart, that tells you whether you should use folders or metadata. This is all good, but how about if I want to look at a specific task? Say I want to do something with a blog. If I hit search, I search and find all of the information because these are all web pages in SharePoint. I'm going to go ahead and click on register a blog in Word and show you this task. You'll see that they start with a purpose, it's an example to give it some context, the example situation that it might work, and then you're directly into tasks, steps, and it's going to be one, two, three, and then you get a picture of what you should be seeing. And you'll see another step or two or three, and then another picture. It's a very visual experience. However, some people don't learn well that way, and so for those folks, they may want to play a video, which is the same steps, just in video form. So here, you see a brief introduction telling you what is happening. And then the video is going to go through the exact same steps that you'd go through inside the step-by-step -step instructions, but in video form. You'll see that the text is clear. You can see everything that's happening based on the way that things are zoomed. I'm going to go ahead and close this so that we can quickly get back to the library. And we're going to see that the content that we were looking at exists in a wiki page library. This is 
the way the content is delivered. It's all wiki pages. It's all the same kinds of things that you already know inside of SharePoint. So to start, let's take a look at just one of our pages, and this one happens to be connecting SharePoint tasks to Outlook. If we look at the page menu in the ribbon, we can see that there is a page permissions option, and we can stop inheriting permissions from the wiki library. So we can take individual pages and hide them from our users so they don't have to see them. Similarly, you can also add new pages to the library if you want to add content to the Shepherd's Guide. Another really great thing that we do for you so that you can make changes to the content yourself is we include each of the individual images that are in the wiki page inside of an images folder in the library. So let's take a look at view survey result files. The neat thing here is that if you put in your own images, the ones that have your custom branding, then all of the tasks will start to have your custom branding too. So if your organization says, we have to make it look a certain way, you can take all the content and quickly update it for your needs. One last thing to show you is how to install the Shepherd's Guide. It's quick and easy. We ship a client-side installer so you don't have to be on the server. You can just do your install. If I want to go and put in our address and then credentials, I can authenticate. And then I get to install where I want to come from and where it goes to. This is a quick and easy way to get the SharePoint Shepherd's content up on your site so that you can use it in your environment. Let's go back and look at the rest of the benefits of the Shepherd's Guide. All right, so welcome back. Hopefully you see that the Shepherd's Guide is a new, perfect, ultimate way to solve problems of training. It is a way that is so aligned with the way that adults think and learn and use things. And that's why we think that it's this beautiful picture of what we should be doing. Now, maybe you don't agree that we need a new approach. Let's look at a couple of things real quick to see why we need this new approach. Well, first of all, if you used to travel, you picked up a map and you got a compass and got your keys and you set out on the road. But today we don't do that. Today we'll go with a GPS. We'll grab it and look at it. And increasingly, we're using our phones. We don't even have a separate dedicated device. We will go places never having seen the path we're going to travel. We diligently plug it into the, UP, the GPS and go. So what about Rolodexes? We used to have Rolodexes to keep all of our names and numbers in. We used to memorize phone numbers. You could memorize important phone numbers, like even your home number. There are a lot of folks that don't remember their home phone number. In fact, Einstein was said to not remember his because he could always look it up. Today, we don't memorize phone numbers anymore. We don't put things in Rolodexes. We keep them with us in our phones. What about cookbooks? We used to do cookbooks, and we'd set them out on the table. And if you're like me, you'd get egg on them as you're trying to crack things. Right? We don't do that anymore. We will go to the internet and search for a recipe or a part of a recipe. We'll ask her, how do I make a marinara sauce? We don't do things the same way we used to do because we've got new tools. We've got search, and we've got other things that make it easier for us to behave in a different way. Now, I've told you all this, but I want you to know that I'm in the same boat that you're in. I used to be the, in the chair you're in. I used to be training users. I used to be building systems and hoping that they could use them. You'll see this picture is me in 1998 sitting in front of a rack of servers and network equipment because I was working on material to build the next class. Take a look at this. These are the last 12 MVP award badges that I've received. And I've been with Microsoft on this MVP journey for 12 award cycles now. If you think about that, that's a long time to be recognized as somebody who's helping the community, helping educate, and helping move things forward. I've also written 25 books. I've got editor credit on another 100 more. And I do hundreds of articles, 50 or so speaking engagements every year at conferences in the US and internationally. I want you to know that I'm committed to helping educate people. And I've done all these books, I've done these things that help people learn from that method, but I know the Shepherd's Guide in its wiki form, in the corporate edition, where people can search it and watch the videos, is so much more powerful. So my and ask of you is go look for some more information on SharePointShepherd.com. Take a look at the guide, 
take a look at the samples that we've got up there, reach out and ask for a quote or a demo, take a look at how you can do training better for SharePoint in your environment.